I'm Jim Clark and welcome to Soccer Weekly talking with Cavaliers head men's soccer coach John Hall. And John, a tough weekend, two very competitive games. Let's start with Friday night's Lake Erie match. Yeah, it wasn't in the, the best conditions uh, really, but it's the same for both teams. Uh, a little bit of a downpour, uh, slight downpour during the course of the game. But uh, yeah, it was a tough, tough two games. I mean, two t against two teams that this was the most important game of the season in order for us to have a possibility of making uh, postseason play in the conference tournament. Both teams had to win. Nothing but a win would do. So uh, it was a tough one on Friday. And Sunday Malone scored this game at the half. They get the one break, they get the goal, and that's unfortunately that was all they needed. Yeah, and, and that's been somewhat how our, our, our season's been going. We've not had the run of play in uh, the majority of the games. Uh, when we have, we've took advantage of it. But uh, on Sunday, it was a tight game against two teams, very nervous. Again, everything to play for, uh, trying to get postseason play. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, we were on the back end of that. It's been tough, been shut out seven times. It's been that one, you just seem to be missing it. one or two guys that could get you the break you need to put the ball in the net, basically. Yeah, we've, we've certainly not had the consistency this year than what, what we had last year. That was the key for the success of last year. This year we've not had consistency in, in some key areas and uh, you know and, and that's been difficult to play week in, week out. Um, it makes it hard for me to sometimes select the right players and the right mix. It's sort of a feeling, um, sort of a decision making in regards to does this player play over this player? Are we going to get anything out of either one? Uh, you, sometimes you could just literally toss a coin and say and make a choice that way. Um, so it has been difficult in that sense with some some key areas, positional areas, not being consistent. But still, you hope guys learn from it. They take things oh, from yeah. this to really to help you out for next year to get ready for it. Yeah, uh, I mean every every game's a learning experience, and it brings something different to the play. And uh, you know we've got two games less left at the end of the season and I'm looking forward to them uh, they're against two good teams that are playing well but they're also against teams that you know the nerves for them are, are, are the same because they're looking you know for postseason play uh, in the NCAA and um, if they're not you know handling the nerves right we, we could take advantage of that uh, because we're not you know no team in our region right now is head and shoulders above everybody else. The, if you look across uh, the region and the results that are coming through, um, no team is unbeatable. That is for sure. Notre Dame first, always a battle with the Falcons. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that'll be it. I mean, they, they had a player who it took him a few games to get warmed up during the season, a forward, and he had not scored, and yet he scored a hatchet against us that day. A fair play. But he's not done much since. And uh, so... If we can uh, stem him and, and be competitive, any, anything can happen. Anything. And you close at Wheeling on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Wheeling, that's a, that's a, a, a tough trip. Um, it's, a, it's a tight field. It'll be a field, if anything, that has, has probably had a lot of rain on it. And, uh, so it's going to be a, a bit of a, a dog fight, that one for sure, I, I'll guarantee. But again, it's all about getting the, the heads high again, getting the confidence back um, and, and going out, uh, you know, going out with respect more than anything. Um, and that's what we've got to try and do this week in practice. Thanks, John, and good luck. Thank you. That's Cavalier Weekly. I'm Jim Clark.